Hey, what's up guys? Just want to talk to you about a new product we've added on our website. Uh, for any of you guys that have invested some money into a nice helmet and you always get worried, you know, you walk into the bar or the restaurant or wherever you're at and you leave your helmet on your bike and thinking it might get stolen or you got to carry it around all day. Uh, we've added these new lid locks, helmet locks uh, on the site and it's a really quick and easy install and a way to secure your helmet so that it doesn't disappear while you walk away. Um, I'm going to show you how to install these things. They're, I mean, they come with tools, they come with everything you need, so they're super slick. And uh, like I said, you can find these at tuckerspeed.com. In this video somewhere, we're going to flash up a one-time use discount code, so stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through this install. All right, so uh, as far as the kits go that we've got added on our website, we've got these single kits, dual kits. Uh, you can get it in black or chrome. And we have it for most of your Harley Davidson models. Really the only difference is gonna be the thread pitch, the bolt you use to mount it. So we basically have anything for any of your Harley Davidson models. Uh, what comes in these kits uh, is obviously the lock, the hardware, um, and this little buckle extender. Uh, if your strap won't quite reach to wherever you mount it, you can slide this deal through the buckle and uh, kind of you know add some length to that. So that's what comes in the kits. Uh, to install it, you're gonna need a couple tools. The T27 is what's stock, a 3 16 Allen to put the new bolt back in, and the install is super slick. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw one on this soft tail real quick. First thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, just remove this, uh, you can put this on either the brake or the clutch side. Uh, we're gonna run the brake side um, on this bike, we have a one finger clutch perch so it doesn't work there. So we're gonna go on this right side, remove this stock bolt. And we won't reuse that bolt. Um, we'll grab the new bolt that comes in the kit. We're gonna install it through the lock. We're gonna add the spacer. I'm gonna add just a little drop of Loctite. And then install. And then once you get it tight, you're gonna to wanna to install it with the slop kind of pointed up if that's how you're gonna plan on using it is with the buckle on the top side. Uh, that's what we prefer to do. That way your, your helmet can kind of sit up on top of your bar on your mirror and then just sit the buckle in there. So we'll snug that down. All right, so after you get the, uh, the main body mounted to the handlebar, you're gonna use the key as kind of a holder and you're just gonna install the lock. Start it, you know, thread it in. Just turn it in. Thread that in all the way basically and just till it lightly seats and pull the key back out. And the last step is to use the supplied Allen key and the set screw. We like to put a little dab of Loctite on this just so that it doesn't rattle out. And then install the set screw in the bottom. I'm gonna just turn that up. until it turns into the, into the lock, and just kind of lock it down, and then it's done. And then to lock it, you just push the button in the center, which pushes the pin through on the inside, and then to unlock, uh, just use the key to release it. The thing I wanted to show you is, uh, you know, kind of once you get to wherever you're going, you want to throw your helmet on and lock it, uh, just show you how simple this is to use. You know, we like to throw it up on this right hand control, uh, set the helmet up over your mirror. The lock is in the unlock position. Slide the buckle down in, hit the button, and it's secure. And it's just that easy, super way, super great way to kind of, you know, protect your investment. And, you know, if you're running a, you know, four, five, eight hundred dollar helmet, whatever it is, and you don't want it to disappear, this is a good alternative and a good answer for you. 
So another little tip that we found, you know, a lot of the, vid the videos and photos of this product are mounted up on the hand controls. If you got like a passenger helmet or need to lock a second helmet, sometimes you can use a little buckle extender and put two up here, but that can be kind of tricky. We've actually thrown a second one down on our side cover. This kit is essentially just using a quarter 20 bolt. So anywhere on the bike that has a quarter 20 bolt that you could mount one of these two, you could throw a second one on there for your passenger helmet just to keep it safe as well. Uh, like I said, we got this one mounted down on the side. You can, you know, kind of hang it from the foot peg, use the, you know, and then lock the buckle at that point. So it's, you know, super useful and versatile to kind of mount it wherever, you, wherever it can fit. It's just that easy. Grab them at tuckerspeed.com and we'll see you on the next video.